Bích Phượng xin kính chào quý vị. Hôm nay Chủ nhật ngày 22 tháng 9, 2019. Đến với VTV sáng nay, Bích Phượng kính mời quý vị theo dõi. Giám đốc Sở Quản lý và Bảo vệ Người Tiêu Dùng tại thủ đô Hoa Trình Đốn đã dành cho nhà văn Đào Trường Phúc một buổi phỏng vấn nhằm chia sẻ những thông tin liên quan đến vai trò của cơ quan DCRA và giải đáp một số thắc mắc cho cộng đồng người Mỹ gốc Việt vùng thủ đô Hoa Trình Đốn. Để mở đầu, với phương kính mời quý vị theo dõi phần 1. Sir, uh, the first thing we need to know. Now suppose I am um, I have the intention to start a business in Washington DC. Okay? So the question is, what licenses do I need if I want to open a nail salon in the District of Columbia? I am Ernest Trafra. I am the director of the DC Department of Consumer Regulatory Affairs. I would love to help anybody who wants to open a business in the city. DC is growing and is thriving, and we have an active interest in ensuring that anybody who wants to open a business or expand their business has the least amount of hassles. Coming to your question specific to how do you open a meal salon here in DC, there are a number of channels to get in. We start by first saying become a customer of DCRA because it changes the nature of the relationship. It means we have an interest in ensuring that you are satisfied and also helping you navigate the various regulatory regimes that are in place. To operate a nail salon, you gotta have um, people who are licensed in cosmetology. So uh, that is handled through uh, boards and commissions, but more importantly, once you have that professional licensure uh, as a cosmetologist, then you can get into operating that business. Mm -hmm. And I'm drawing the distinction between professional licenses and business licenses because business licenses applies to the enterprise, the uh, practice that you want to run. Mm -hmm. The professional license applies to you as an individual. So you will need both to have your own nail salon business. Mm -hmm. But if you are uh, a licensed cosmetologist, you can go work under a business that already has a license. So you have two options. Mm -hmm. One is to become professionally licensed mm -hmm. and just work under an existing business. Mm -hmm. Or two, not only become professionally licensed, but also get a business license. Mm -hmm. The exact steps to get a business license, that is what we do here. We have a small business resource center that has workshops on an ongoing basis and offers one-on-one -on -one counseling and support to not only start your business, but for your business to thrive as well. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, so um, now since you are DCRA director and you are so nice as to give us an opportunity to interview you today, let's go to the next question. Now, how can DCRA help me start the business? Let's say a nail salon. How can DCRA help me? At a very basic level, we'll provide you with training mm -hmm on how to actually set up the business. Mm -hmm. Whether you want to incorporate as an LLC or whether you want to set up a sole proprietorship, there's counseling available around the business structure. Secondly, we can also put you in touch with our sister government agencies that have tools and resources. There may be grants available, there may be special programs available, but when it comes to DCRA, our focus is to ensure that you not only get licensed, but you have an opportunity for your business to thrive. And that is the type of support system that is available through our Small Business Resource Center. Mm, okay. Um, well, I was about to ask you the next question, which is, uh, does my business require a professional license? But I believe you have already given me the answer to that. So let's go to the next question. Now, what is the difference between a basic business license and a professional business license? The professional license applies to the individual. So for example, an architect has a professional license. Mm -hmm. The dentist 
has a professional license. The barber has a professional license. The cosmetologist has a professional license. The business license is on top of the professional license. So I can have a business for nail care or beauty services, and I would hire professionals licensed in that category, one around our, our nail care, another around hair care, but I don't necessarily have to be professionally licensed in those categories. So the distinction is that the professional license applies to an individual and they are bestowed that license by a board and commission. The business license is at a broader level around the practice and operations of that uh, service. Okay, thank you, sir. So, um, to, if we can put it briefly, what are the requirements for obtaining a professional license in Washington, D.C.? It varies by specialty. So, for example, uh, to be a barber, there's a certain number of hours that you have to um, gain through education and uh, some type of apprenticeship. When it comes to being a cosmetologist, there's uh, a different level. We'll be happy to provide you with the specifics as far as how many hours is required in each category. But the bottom line is that you have to demonstrate that you can safeguard the health of customers. You are also aware of uh, some of the um, rules and regulations around that practice. So those are some of the things that um, it is uh, handled through the certification process. Mm -hmm. So I like to make it easier in terms of describing it to folks. If you want to get into the nail care business, you have to be certified. And if you want to have a business, you get a business license on top of that. I see. Thank you, sir. Okay, now let's get to a pretty touchy, but I guess very important, maybe the most important question. Uh, please tell us, what are the penalties for operating an unlicensed business in the District of Columbia? There are penalties in place to discourage unlicensed business uh, because it not only creates uh, risk for the business owner, our customers, and the city as well. So having an unlicensed business carries a fine, I believe, uh, over $2,000. Uh, and there are other uh, penalties that can come associated with that. So we like to encourage people to contact us so that we can help them get into compliance and help them cross the bridge uh, as it relates to getting licensed. Mm, yeah, thank you, sir. Kính thưa quý vị, chương trình VTV đến đây xin tạm ngưng. Chúng tôi sẽ trở lại sau phần thông báo và quảng cáo. Con là người Việt không chớ quên đi sự tôn thông. Đừng vì tiền vì danh đem đánh đổi ngàn năm tâm tôi. Rồi lịch sử phán xét công bằng gian dối với ai chân thành mình là người việt nam mình luôn luôn sống sao cho chọn giờ mình cùng bên nhau đứng lên đi về tự do dù đường dài cam go ta cứ đi tìm rồi sẽ Hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn